Hi, my name is Ken McNamara from KRE Race Engines, and today we're doing the uh, Norton 360 technical section on um, internals of a um, V8 supercar engine. Uh, first, we'll look at the uh, crankshaft. Um, this one's a uh, Bryant billet. Um, we use a billet uh, crankshaft, a bit stronger than the um, forging. Uh, this one's an eight counter weighted um, crankshaft, helps with the balancing with the RPM. Um, they run a minimum weight of 16.5 kilos um, for the uh, weight rule that V8 Supercar have these days. Keeps the price in and we get well over 20,000 kilometres on a crankshaft like that with no, no dramas whatsoever. Um, quite a good quality piece, most NASCAR teams are on that same, same piece and yeah, it does a good job. The con rods we use, um, these are a Carrillo um, H-beam rod, they uh, run a uh, Carrillo Carbolt which is a um, non-metallic um, material. Um, that's about sort of the best you can buy, they've been beefed up under the eye of the rod to help them cracking, we had some years ago where they were a little bit weak, but um, yeah good quality part, um, they're same thing, 500 grams is the weight rule for the con rod. Um, they keep it, um, yeah, you can have 9,000 over revs and have, don't seem to have any dramas with them. This is the piston we use, it's a um, Bill Miller billet piston that's um, custom made for us and um, Triple Eight and Paul Morris. They um, run a 0.7.72 mil ring package which is the narrowest we can run by the rules. Um, we've made quite a few mods of the piston this season with the fuel economy rule. Um, also we have the run motors a little leaner so we have to um, make them um, stronger in areas that we run an analyzed top ring groove, stop uh, micro welding of the piston and um, yeah a few modifications to the wrist pin and stuff like that but yeah good quality part for, uh, for what we use. Yeah we get over 4000 K out of a piston as long as we don't run them too lean. The uh, camshaft, these days also use a control camshaft for um, V8 supercar, uh, 700 hour lift. This is one of the earlier ones, the um, 8620, they've had a few versions of them now but quite a, quite a good piece. Uh, did knock the power around, 12, 15 horsepower, but most teams seem to have it back now and yeah, we don't seem to have any valve spring problems, rocker problems, um, definitely have done a good job in, in that area of the, of the engine. We all run uh, titanium valves in the, in the supercar motor, um, these are a Del West, they run a uh, CRN coating on the valve which helps the, um, stop the valve wearing out from dirt, uh, get a lot longer seat life out of the engine, keeps the power in the motor. Uh, they're a 7mm with a, a lash cap. Um, a valve spring, that's a PSI uh, treated springs or radius and stuff for the each team runs a different spring but they seem to do pretty much the same brand but they do a very good job of the quality and we just said don't seem to have any dramas these days with um, the springs with the control camshaft and then a titanium retainer with a molly coating underneath which stops the spring wear into the retainer adds to the price but um, for durability is a lot better job for than a normal retainer. Push rods, we have a uh, these are a 7 16 165 volt push rod, they're quite strong, um, done a lot of spintron work, that seems to work the best. They have rules on what we can run now to keep the valve train, same thing within price and um, reliability. And then the rocker arm, uh, TND, shot peened, one seven, the 175 ratio rocker for the control camshaft, uh, need a roller tip, shot peen, yeah quite a good uh, Reliable piece, now you get sort of five, 6,000 Ks out of a rocker arm, where before we'd get probably 3,000 with the non-control camshaft, so definitely um, lasting a lot better this day and age. An engine these days is anywhere from 110 to $130,000, depending on the dollar. Um, we have 12 Holdens in rotation for the two Holden teams and uh, four for the uh, Ford team. But yeah, so this is all the, the internals of a 2011 spec um, V8 supercar engine.